What is poppin' fam? Spanik here, coach of your Alabama Crimson Surf. And this is my week two UTL game against KC and the San Antonio Sheninjas. He's been away from Mons for a while. He's finally returned back to the UTL for season three. He took a season off, or season four rather. He took a season off last season. But now he is now he's back with the new generation. So let's take a look at his team. Right here. He's right under mine, San Antonio Sininjas. So he could possibly bring Neskroma, Lando T, Magnazone, Amoongus, Arcanine, Mega Diancy, Gligar, Gastrodon, Toxico, Glypart, and regular Kiram. Also, I should note I used all three of my transactions in week one. Yeah, we have dropped Salazzle, Drudagon, and Alolan Raichu for Zygarde 10%, Meloetta, Alolan Sandslash. AJ, coach of the. Uh, Vancouver Psyducks, he dropped Zygarde 10%, and I knew I had to have it. Because I needed a better dragon than Drudagon. And with Zydoge available, that's actually really good. Meloetta is a nice special wall breaker that I can really use for my team with the loss of Salazzle. Because Salazzle, yeah, it's fast, but it can't. It doesn't really have the move pull a special wall breaker needs. Meloetta does provide me that. And a little Sand Slash gives me an I-type, I don't have it, Ice. And a potential, and another Rapid Spinner. Because currently, I only have one way to remove hazards, and that's Donphan. So Alolan Sandslash does give me that possibility. And we have dropped Alolan Raichu, Dredagon, and Slazzle for these mods. Good to see Alolan Raichu was recently picked up by my boy Hooch and the CS and the Cronula Sutherland Sharpedos. So at least he's going to get, at least Alolan Raichu is finally going to get more action. Hopefully Hooch uses him well. So now back to the battle. And now the Mons I'm bringing. I'm bringing all three of my transaction Mons. <laughs> and I am bringing some fire heat this game. We have ICMZ, Alolan Sandslash. Sandslash has the ability Sush Slush Rush, which is essentially Sand Rush and Hail. And I have ICMZ, which raises my speed by one. So essentially, this is going to be the fastest Sandslash alive. With perfect coverage on his team, Icicle Crash, EQ... Iron Head and Hail. Plan is though. Plan is to once I get if I could get rid of Arcanine or Nescroma, but even though this thing could beat and handle Nescroma unless he runs like Hidden Power Fire, Hidden Power Fighting. Plan is to get rid of Arcanine, and then I could potentially sweep with this thing. Cause I plus is that once I get the Hail up with my Slush Rush plus the Hail, I am speed invested enough to outspeed Scarf Landorus if he should bring it. Now we have just a mixed defensive Celesteela with Fire Blast in case you get trapped by Magnazone. I think it's just like a Leech Sea Protect and Flash Cannon or something. I don't even I don't even remember the Celesteela spread. I did this battle like last week. I just finally got around to recording it now. And so I really don't remember my team off the top of my head. I remember this is a counter Don fan for potentially for Lando T. Because new Lando T was going to be a problem. I have Mega Sharpedo here with Crunch, Waterfall, Thick Earthquake, and Protect. Another mod that could potentially blow a hole in his team. I should have maybe put Ice Fang or Psychic Fangs on it. I should, yeah, I should have maybe put Psychic Fangs instead of Earthquake. I want super effective damage on... Uh, he had another mod before. I want super effective damage on Magnazone with uh, Sharpedo. That's why I put Earthquake. I should have maybe put Psychic Fangs because Amoongus was definitely the, better threat, the bigger threat to it. This is kind of the Amoongus answer here, though. Meloetta with Choice Scarf. Running a more bulky set. Because even with... Because his speed tiers are whack. His fastest mon is Lander. His fastest mon is Mega Diancy. And with a Scarf, I am able to outspeed Mega Diancy with no defense, with no speed investment. Or I think I'm speed invested enough to outspeed Mega Diancy. One of those two. And I have trick for I could trick a scarf out on this chroma or Moongus, making making my way to sweep easier with Alolan Sand Slash or Mega Shark or even Zydoge. Oh yeah, Zydoge. So I'm bringing sub DD Zydoge this game because I could set a sub up on next chroma, and he, I could set a sub up on Nez chroma, and he can't do anything back, and I could just I, I could just Dragon Dance up on it. Because Zydoge at plus one outspeeds his entire team, and I can just spam Thousand Arrows, because it'll even hit the Landorus. 
And, you, and, I, and if I remain behind a sub, Landorus can't intimidate me. Neither can Arcanine. So let's get right into the battle. I believe I predict... I believe, I believe I predict him to lead Landorus, but he ends up leading with Magnazone. As I lead with my Dom fan predicting Land to lead, he reels HP ice immediately as I get up my rocks. I was scouting for that. I'm spit off Dom fan, so I knew I could take one, no problem. As now he goes right into his Lando, I just get off a knockoff and I'm able to knock off. As it, and he reveals I have a Z move. Here I just went for the counter, expecting the U turn, so now I'm going to get some damage on this Amoongus. Which is nice. It's not much, but it's still damage regardless. As now I switch into my Celesteela. It, yeah, it's the designated sleep fodder. And also the designated sack to Magneton. So he reveals the foul play now in his Amoongus as I pull an aggressive switch into my Zydoge. As now I double back into my Celesteela because I'm a special Celesteela. I could take foul plays for days from this thing. He's probably about to go into mag here. Yes, he does, and I'm going to stay asleep. I was hoping for, like, a first turn wake. I could go f as I went for Fire Blast there. Here, I don't get the wake either. I went for Fire Blast again. Now he goes for the Volt Switch and kills me. And now with that Volt Switch, I think that may have been a misplay on his end. Because now I know he's not choiced, number one. And number two, I now know, number two, he gets, for he has to switch first because he went for Volt Switch. I think he ended up being Shooka. Magnazone, he told me after the game. He ended up being Shooka Mag. So now he goes into his Nescroma. As I just go into... I think I go into my... No, I go into my Meloetta. And I just start... And I just click Shadow Ball. No, I click U-Turn. Go into my Sharpedo. Because I figure I could start setting up with this thing. But he goes into his Arcanine. Uh, he goes into Arcanine on my Protect. I get the Speed Boost. And I don't Mega yet. I switch into Donphan on this thing. He goes for the close combat. Does zero because Donphan is bulky as hell. He has to switch here. He's going to go back into his Landorus. I think I went for Earthquake. No, I went for Knockoff, predicting a switch. So now this Lando has more damage on it. He knows he can't U-turn here, so he's just going to Bloom Doom and kill me. That was good prep on his end. Bloom Doom, Sand Slash, potentially for Sharpedo. And that I, I'm able to Revenge here at Meloetta. As now he goes into his Diancy. He gets the Mega off. I'm Scarf, so I'm going to get more damage on this Diancy. And Diamond Storm is not going to take me out. So Meloetta is going to pick up another kit. He's going to go into Mag. Meloetta is going to deal damage to this Mag. And even more damage to the Mag. He's going to go for T-Wave, but he, he probably should have just went for the kill there. Now he goes for the kill. But I live, and I'm able to kill off the Magnezone. So Meloetta picking up two kills right off the bat. But now this Nescroma is just going to revenge my Meloetta, but that's fine. Meloetta's show, making, making it known in her debut. But now I'm able to set up the Z Hail with Zygar, with, not Zygar, with the, with Sand Slash. Yeah, set up the Z Hail, and now I outspeed everything on his team. The Arcanine goes down, that's one kill for the Sand Slash. He goes into Diancy. Now it's going to die to an Iron Head. He goes into Nescroma. And I'm actually able to get... I'm actually... I still crashed in nothing. He goes for Brick Break and I'm able to live. And now I'm going to end up getting a... I'm going to end up getting some hacks here. I'm going to end up getting a crit. Which is going to kill the Nest Chroma. And then his last mod is the... Amoongus is going to eat up an ice, Icicle Crash. And he's going to kill me with the foul play. But that's fine. Sand Slash for picking up three kills. Then it was a question of who gets the last kill. And I'm just going to... Thousand Arrows with Zydoge. And he's going to get the last kill. So, GG, KC, sorry about the hacks, but I really think it just mattered for differential. It probably just mattered for differential, because I could have went into Zygarde on the... I was, Because, honestly, I could have went into Zygarde immediately on the Nescroma, set up a Dragon Dance. Unless you had, like, HP Ice on the Nescroma, I could have just set up a Dragon Dance on your Moonlight. <coughs> or a sub. Just set up a sub or a Dragon Dance on your Moonlight, and then just proceed to click Thousand Arrows or E-Speed. I had Thousand Arrows and E-Speed on the Zygarde. So I'm pretty sure it just mattered for differential. So GG, we're now one and one, and next week we face uh, face our third divisional opponent, Collapse in the Notre Dame Fighting Chestnuts. So looking forward to that. Spanic out. I'll see you all next time.